Our fourth and final selection in today's episode is perhaps one of the biggest games of the season. Third place Manchester City play host to table-topping Arsenal, and the Citizens drew their most recent league game 1-1 against fellow title challengers Liverpool, a game in which the balance was probably right and a draw was deserved. However, Guardiola and co. would have been disappointed in the manner of Liverpool's equaliser, as Edison was caught out and gave away a pretty cheap penalty, which denied the City the opportunity to hit the front. In terms of form, City's 2-0 win against Arsenal in the FA Cup quarterfinals brings their unbeaten streak to 13 in the Premier League and 22 in all competitions. The away side Arsenal, well, they extended their winning run to eight in the Premier League when they beat Brentford by two goals to one at the Emirates. After this, they went on to beat Porto on penalties to reach the quarterfinals of the Champions League just ahead of the international break, and Arsenal have had 19 days to prepare for this league title clash. Head-to-head, Arsenal won the reverse fixture by one goal to nil thanks to Gabriel Martinelli's late goal, and Arsenal hold the accolade of being one of a few teams to avoid defeat against Manchester City this year. They also won the curtain raiser in the Community Shield on penalties as well, so it's Arteta 2, Guardiola 0. Man City will hope to resume business as usual as they have won la- as they won last year's league matches by three goals to one and four goals to one, as well as winning all eight games between October of 2020 and April of 2023. So, what's the angle for this game? To be honest, this has been quite a tricky game to analyse. Over two and a half goals looks the way to go based on the averages. I haven't committed to it because Man City have seen under two and a half goals in their last two games in a row and their last five out of six Premier League games. Additionally, the last two head-to-head encounters have seen under two and a half goals. So whilst I could see goals in this game, there's not really that much of a statistical narrative to support that notion. Also, a side isn't that clear to me. I could really see both teams winning, and I put the draw as a possibility as well. So I'm firmly on the fence in taking a side. But I think I have found an angle. And that's over in the sports book under bet builders, looking at goals to be scored in both halves. For Manchester City, this has happened in their most recent Premier League game against Liverpool, and it also happened in the United and Chelsea games, so in three of the last five, or two of the last three games that the Etihad. For Arsenal, well, they've seen a goal scored in both halves in their most recent game against Brentford, which continued a run of six straight Premier League games where a goal has been scored in both halves. At fractional odds of 4-7 to seven or 1.57, I think this is the best shout to not only think that the bet will come in, but also allow a neutral like myself to enjoy the game, and I will be backing this for a full stake in the final bet of the episode.